Der bestialische Angriff auf die Ukraine. The bestial attack on Ukraine from the Kremlin is triggering a, a flow of refugees of incredible dimensions. We are debating that flow of uh, refugees here in the European Parliament on the on International Women's Day. So I think it's appropriate to say that once again, most of these refugees, the people who are fleeing, are women and children. And to point out that once again in world history, it is women, women who are bearing massive responsibility in order to get through these times with their children. And it's also a reason for us to debate this once again today, because it's true that less raw violence would exist if women had more of a voice. I am strongly convinced that it takes men and women. We are complementary. But uh, if women were to speak more, these bestial attacks, these war crime probably would not have happened. I'd like to say that this moment of solidarity, this historic unity in Europe shouldn't exist in isolation. It has to be sustainable. It has to bring Europe onto a new level of civilization. And I would like to pick up on something that Boris Johnson said yesterday. The United Kingdom is still a partner for us. Maybe we should be reminded of that by the current situation, that it shouldn't be a witch hunt of uh, Russian people if we implement sanctions which should be effective because their aim is to build peace. But the value of each human being is the same as that of the next.